What is up guys, Strategies420 here, back with another episode, this is going to be episode 1 of Once Human, let's hop right into it, this is a new game in its demo, pretty excited, it has like, poke up post-apocalyptic type mixed with supernatural stuff. They do have a PvE server and PvP servers as well. Our, Our lives, lives have followed, followed a long, long path. path. But, but eventually, eventually, all, all roads, roads reach their, their end. end. Our world is broken, stagnant, fallen into the abyss. But everything is born from darkness. Even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns. And evolution forges a new way forward. Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death, once life returns to this world, we'll meet beyond that path. The visuals for this game so far is really nice. They did a lot of detail when it came to graphics.
we go. Liquid nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function, not detected. Subject status, stable. Dagger, still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Security breach. Security breach! <laughs> Access code to Chrono Cage Experiment Re Rehab must be changed in the code 0728. It's good to see another face. I thought I was on my own. 
And you're a metahuman too. I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. You awakened the cradle, and that's something only a metahuman could do. Do you remember who you are? It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. It seems that our interests are aligned, MetaHuman. I came to secure a deviation, a paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place. But only if you help me complete my mission first. All you have to do is listen to what I tell you. Alrighty. This doesn't seem like it could go bad. since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of Stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like, but you're a metahuman. You should be fine. In fact, if the conditions are right, you might even be able to use Stardust to your advantage. Assassination.
guess I gotta run back around. Missed the weapon crate. Stay calm. I'm here to help you. No one can help me. It would be better for everyone if I just... Just leave me alone, please. I'm afraid I can't do that. And you're not a monster. In fact, you're very, very special. You just need to learn how to control your own strength. Once you do that, you can help fix this broken world. We can do that together. My butterfly, it's flying. Yes, your first deviation. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. It means child of light. It's my first creation. I will create more. Interesting. What's in here? Secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path. This will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayfly? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. They're flying now? What the hell?
We found it. Reach out to left hand. See if you can feel the rhythm. Then try and secure it. Okay. So these guys are trying to open up another door to the other side, I guess. Alrighty then. Let's go talk to Miss Soku. just woken up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, MetaHuman. This means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a MetaHuman as well. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Suku is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the Stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. About 20 years ago, Rosetta triggered a major stardust fluctuation during one of their experiments. As a result, some great ones slipped through, entering into our world. They brought increased levels of stardust with them. That poison has seeped into every corner of our world now, spawning countless deviants and other dangers. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. They brought it's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. That's what Rosetta does. There. At first, they just locked deviations away. But then they figured out that deviations could be harnessed to make humans stronger. That's when they started their experiments. In the name of human progress, creating metahumans like me and you. To Rosetta, we're the future. And they're not wrong. Metahumans are mankind's last hope. We were created by Rosetta, but we don't take orders from them anymore. We left. We call ourselves the Mayflies now, and we do things differently. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're yes, safe here. an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other Metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. 
The important thing right now is to secure it. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. The butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're trying to find ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. We figure this is our best chance of cleaning up the mess that Rosetta made. No one's exactly sure what they are, just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension, something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Like with Starfall, sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks loose. Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly, but others, like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, of course, but if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. That's the goal. Also, the stardust just keeps spreading, and we aren't sure why. Shit, it must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. all over again. And a rock for a tree. And... Oh, there's stone right here. Oh, it's not. It's copper ore. Might as well get the copper ore as well.
I just need some more stone. Siren. So strong. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. 
Now you'll see for yourself what it's capable of. escaped just driving it away was enough and it's all thanks to you meta You're tougher than you look that's twice now you've saved me it's like i said we think deviations are sometimes capable of passing between the physical world and rift space it could be wreaking havoc in the physical world right now, even as we speak. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you've saved me. Yes, Hitsuko created this rift space, a refuge from the dangers of the physical world, or so we thought. Do you think that deviation will come back? It's possible. We just can't sit here and wait, though. Meta. Will you go back to the physical world with me? Not good, to be honest. Since Starfall, it's been 20 years of chaos. But you've got a cradle, and I'll be there to help guide you. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Mitsuko is too important. The Great Ones would descend on her the second she set foot in the physical world. We can't risk it. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully, we'll meet again one day. It looks like this is goodbye. Before you go, if you have any questions, I can try and answer them for you. No one's exactly sure what they are. Good luck, Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. And when that happens... Alrighty. Good luck.
Alright guys, well, I feel like this is a good way to end off the episode. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. And also check out my other social medias and my Twitch. Until next time, Stretch420 out. Peace.